Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play of Zero Time Dilemma. Game number three in the Zero Escape series, let's play the Nonary games. I am the Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel. In our last episode, we already reached the end credits. Yay! But, you know, the game doesn't just end there. Uh, so even though we pick correctly, we, we don't advert the fate of mankind. We need to stop Radical Six. I'm assuming based on what Sigma said in the last episode that there's six billion lives at play here, that is something that we're trying to avert. Although even, although it is kind of a mystery why it was the Mars mission and yet we're on the Nevada desert. That's a mystery I still haven't solved. Uh, by the way, our fun theory for the day comes from Rebecca in the comments, uh, one of our friends of the channel. Rebecca says that Diane here, she is not Clover, and I do agree with her. I do not think this is Clover. There's just too many familiar faces in the game for no one to recognize that this is Clover. Uh, but Rebecca says maybe Diane is Luna, or a prior model of Luna, or a robot of some kind. And uh, this character here is not who she appears to be. I can't disagree with that rumor because I have no idea. I think it's a fun theory. Uh, last game, you know, I threw out the idea that, hey, one of us is a robot and this is probably a uh, giant Turing test. And one of the characters was a robot, but had nothing to do with the Turing test. Uh, so yeah, I love, fun rum I love fun theories like that. If you have a fun theory of your own and you have not played this game before and you don't know anything about it except for what you see, go ahead and post those in the comment box below and I'll read them out as we uh, play through the game. Uh, so yeah, so in the last video, C Team, the idea was that C Team was going to vote for D, and D Team was going to vote for S Q, and Q Team was going to vote for C. So Carlos's team voted for D Team. So now we're going to play Q Story because Q hopefully got the message from Carlos's team to vote that way. Uh, so let's see if they got the message or not. Uh, we're gonna jump right here. I still don't know how this flowchart works, so I have no idea if we're playing the game right. But you know, that's part of the fun of not knowing something. Execution. Q group. Let's get into this. Prep room. Decontamination room. Quantum computer dome. Now, look, now that thing looks cool. Pod room. Oh, there's definitely a puzzle to be solved there. Biolab. And if you're wondering, we have not had weird. an actual puzzle yet. There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, hey! Shut up! Wow, dude. He's got the right to see it too. I know. Don't be rude. Mira. Thank you. Map of Ward Q stored in file. It's pretty pointless to hang out here kicking our heels. Let's go back to the lounge. So this is the uh, group that we don't really know anything about. We don't know any of these three characters. What is this? Let's inhibit Let's the virus. Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. Virus? What virus? Huh. Um, about the vote? What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team, and D team did the reverse, if we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q team would be killed. I suppose that's true if this game is for real. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? The DCOM staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Oh, <laughs> I get it. You're right. Then him being here makes sense now. 
I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Why do mm -hmm. they keep judging him? No. Just because he has a Come helmet on. on. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me. Uh, stop. Stop. You'll break my neck. Why wow, it really Damn. can't come off. It's really on there. Wait. I see something on the side of this thing. What the hell? Well, it's not is case it a password input? key lock, but it is Does something similar. Does that mean similar. the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head will explode. Uh, wow. Hey! Really? Who are you? That was weird. I don't know. I don't remember. I woke up and I was here. Are you saying you have amnesia? Um, maybe. Another helmeted character with amnesia. Hmm. Sounds too familiar. Although that could be a trick the game's throwing at us. Just to make us think that something's involved Could when he's really not. I ask you something. What? What to ask? Who is Zero? Where are we? And what is your relationship? This seems familiar. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I... One, one of the easiest tricks a game can do is use a trick that already has been done on the player and throw it back at them again. Um, because then you're thinking, oh, it can't be the same as this, or could it be the same as this? But at the same time, I don't think they're going to play the same trick twice. So I don't think him having a helmet... I mean... I'm just trying to think in my head, like, what character could that be that would shock us, right? And I don't know of a single character that would actually shock me. When he removed the mask, but because he is the body of a kid, so you have to think about kid bodies, and you have to think, okay, well, who are the only kids that we've seen in this series so far? And the only answer to that question is Quirk, which I really doubt is Quirk, or one of the kids from the original 999 games, but that was over 10 years ago. I mean, I, I my my first instinct is maybe it's Santa. Um, you know, a young Santa, uh, because he is, you know, a Kane sister. So there is some relationship there. I just don't know. I, I, I let me know in your theories below. Uh, who do you think the, uh, the kid with the helmet is? Anyway, uh, let's start with you as your relationship first again. Mira, Eric, what's going on between you so two? So we have Q, Mira, and Eric. Going on, uh, uh well. Are you in love? Idiot! No, uh, we're not! We're not? Uh, well, well, we're not not, but... Wait, what? Hmm. So I do find it interesting that each pair seems to have a direct girlfriend slash boyfriend relationship. Um, you know, you have Sigma Phi, you have Akane Junpei, and I have Eric and Mira, and they both have this similar relationship. And then you have one character on the outsider who's like the outsider, you know, the third cog in the wheel. Uh, where are we? I was wondering, where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know that, but where exactly? Uh... I doubt we're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. So, it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? Uh-huh. We all lived together in that compound for five days. C-Team and D-Team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. I think his name was Gab. But not you. You weren't there. It's very suspicious. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data, mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Oh, uh, what made you sign up? 
tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's it? Well, maybe not entirely. I can think of two reasons why he joined up. <laughs> it's interesting how in every single 999 game, you gotta have a character who has um, that sort of appeal, I guess you could say. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, interesting, interesting some more. So they all signed up for the co cohabitation of Mars, the decom project. And then we got knocked out. Are we still on in the Nevada desert or are we on Mars? So the game plays a very subtle trick us in the beginning. And that is that when we escaped, we actually escaped to the desert. So we were at the, uh, the center the entire time. So what I'm thinking is maybe in between that first and second choice, the coin flip and the, the idea that we got it wrong and then we got knocked out. What if we actually went to Mars at that point? I don't know. I, uh, I swear, trying to analyze this game as you play it is the most mind-boggling thing you could possibly do with your life. Please don't do it. <laughs> or do it with me and let me know in the comments below what your crazy thoughts are. Uh, who is Zero? I was wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're going to stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? Zero said it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. Wait, what? That's that heart ripper, yeah? What? Yeah. Rumor is they killed 18 people all in the past few years. March 15th, 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. What? It happened again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. How do you know this? Two months later, on July 29th... Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. Different type of amnesia. You can have amnesia, but still remember things without remembering who you are. Um, so that's a possibility. You know, I've been trying to figure something out for a while. What is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. So, what, you think there's a sordid tease inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Stop! Beware what if it's the some gifts kind of the bomb? Greeks. A bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um, I think this is upside down. So, this would be the front. Force quit box? guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Maybe... your life. What was that sound? It came from that way. Oh, let's go! Is this Gab, the dog? Yes. Gab? How did you? Aha, he you made came it. came through the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will you? <laughs> see? 
didn't have this stupid thing on your head. I still don't think it would hey, fit. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? I get it. If each team ends up with one vote each, no one dies. The whole thing is a tie and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, I like how he pauses in midair there. Hasn't been delivered to D team yet. You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects towards C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. How do you get to Ward D? We need to figure out how to notify D team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? A pen. And cheese? What is cheese going to do for you? That should do it. What exactly are you doing? Prep room. Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, uh -huh. okay. then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and... So weird how the dog it's is on you, the cheese. Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. So Q needs a vote for C for this plan to work out. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team is a trap. Trap? They could have written it. But maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Oh, hey, wait! All right, so if we're gonna follow the plan, Q team has to vote for C. Um, hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team, which we did. D team should vote for Q team, and Q team should vote for C team. So Q needs to vote C for our plan to work. Following the note, huh? Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. If this plan doesn't work, then there are two outcomes that could happen. Either the three and C team die. Or we're the ones executed. No, there's one more possibility. Yeah? It's a joke. Someone is definitely tricking us. Oh, I so it think is about you. That. That's that's kind of brilliant actually. 
90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. There's no guarantee that well, as the next game will begin with you know, anyone will have to die. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision I made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. You know, one thing I really like so far about this game, and the, all three games are very different, that's why I say we can't really compare the games to each other because it's not a fair thing to do. But one thing I really like about this game so far is the fact that you actually get different perspectives. Uh, in the first game, it was all Junpei, and then the second game was all Sigma. But in this one, even though Sigma and Junpei are in the game, we're not getting their direct perspectives. We're getting Carlos and Q and Diane. Diane? I think it's Diane. Um, I, I really like that. It's, it's, it's really, really cool so far. I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. All right, so let's go ahead and go into D-Team. I'm going to go ahead and make this episode a, uh, a two-parter, basically, because, you know, it, it should only take about 15 minutes to get through this part of the storyline. And then in the next episode, we'll figure out, you know, what these votes actually did. So let's not waste any more time. Jump here. Man, you can make this game so bloody so fast, though. All you have to do is just vote for, like, different people and... You know, the execution all happens. Oh, man. Execution D. Here I am trying to keep everyone alive, and someone in the back of my head is telling me, no, we shouldn't do that. We should. When a curious hate anyway. oozes calamity. Hmm. Different messages. So, a moment when hate becomes calamity, huh? I wonder what that means. Do you think these are anagrams, too? It's me. Maybe it's not supposed to have a meaning. Huh? It's an anagram. You reorganize the letters into another sentence. Why do you think it's an anagram? Because Fi is good at these. I've seen something like this before. In another place. I like anyway, her eyes. where's Sigma? God, she's got beautiful eyes. What are you looking at? A box. What kind of box? Well, I'm looking into it because I don't know. Looks like something's written on it. Force quit box. Hmm. That's interesting. I see a keyboard on it, too. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. I shouldn't have thought it would be that easy. We need a hint. Maybe it says something on the underside. Nope. Won't budge. Is it heavy? Heavy doesn't even begin to cover it. I doubt it's made out of anything from Earth. Well, you are getting up there, Sigma. What are you saying? <laughs> My body's still got it. I'll just give it a try. It's so weird because she knows him as an old man. It's so yeah, funny. You weren't lying. <sighs> See, I told you. This is the map for Ward D, right? Looks like it. Map of Ward D, stored in file. And so we have we all three maps wherever now. we want, so long as it's within this ward? God, her eyes are so yes, pretty. that's what Zero said. And they do look almost mechanical in a way, too. Like, they definitely don't look normal. So maybe Rebecca's on to something. Prep room. Decontamination room. Healing room. Transporter room. 
So it seems like we all have different rooms too. Manufacturing. Ooh, there are some robots there. Trash disposal room. Yeah, like that's really helpful. Oh, well, we got right. the locker room. We've checked all the rooms from top to bottom, but you didn't find any exits? Obviously. We are in a bomb shelter, after all. If there were several exits, it'd defeat the purpose it was built for. So Zero told the truth. Then opening the X door is the only way out. I wonder, is Sigma gonna say, hey, Eric, we got a locker room? Can you hear me? Can you girls uh, put Carlos, on some swimsuits? Akane! <laughs> Ten Myoji! There's no point. We wouldn't hear a drunk toga party at full volume on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need six passwords to get this door to open, right? Yeah, that X pass thing. For every one person who dies, one password will be revealed. Is that true, though? Sigma, why don't you try dying once? I politely but firmly refrain. <laughs> what about you, Diana? Hey, uh, no. Figured. I also noticed that Sigma called Junpei Tenmyoji. Hey, that's just the little um, things that make me smile. Ask you guys something? What's up? Here we got the three questions again. Oh, they're actually different questions. Uh, we don't have a question here about what's your relationship. So let's start with the way Sigma talks. This may be somewhat rude of me to say, but the way you talk, Sigma, is, um, a little unusual. Forgive him. The age of his mind and his body are completely different. Oh, he mentioned that back at DCOM. That his consciousness had come back from the year 2074. And what a mind trip that is That's to try correct. to explain that to someone. That's why I know what will happen in the future. I must have spent the past five days warning all of you. If nothing changes, mankind will be destroyed. Akane, Fai, and I infiltrated DCOM to stop all that from happening. Fai? Is this true? Well, would you believe me if I said that it was? Then why are all of us trapped in this strange place? If you know the future, then you could have prevented it. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. Hmm. Uh, we'll help come. Do you think someone will come help us? Like who? Maybe the decom experiment staff? Yeah, I don't think so. Sorry, but that's pretty unlikely. Remember? The staff stationed in DCOM can't communicate with us right now. The simulation is attempting to stay true to an actual Mars mission. It's at least six months between Earth and Mars. In that time period, Earth will have rotated halfway around the sun. Which means... By the time the spaceship reaches Mars, the Earth is behind it. With the star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the lead-up. We've been doing experiments for the past five days. The transmissions will re-establish on December 31st at 2330, which leaves us with more than 10 hours. There's no point in hoping for a rescue to come before then. Pretty sure the DCOM staff won't notice any problems until that time. <laughs> you guys are like siblings. You're totally in sync. <laughs> oh, that look is great. Oh, it's so good. Um, I will say, uh, I will say one thing. The, the, the way they do the, uh, the text in this game with the voiceovers is very smooth. You know, I don't have to press X to, like, you know, go through. I could have used the, uh, the auto feature in the previous games, but it's a little bit janky at times. It doesn't always, you know, go to the next line when the next line's done reading. Um, but I do miss having my dots. I am going through dot withdrawals, my friends. I need my dots. What am I going to do without my dots? Oh, it's so sad. But anyway, who is Zero? Who do you think 
Zero is. Do you guys know who Zero is? No, I haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. What are you... There's one more thing for sure. Think about it. Why was Zero's speech to us pre-recorded? There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or... Zero is among us. This have to happen to me. I should have never listened to Rebecca. Rebecca? She's the head nurse at the hospital where I worked. Oh, right. You did say you were a nurse. Oh, no way. I joined the DCOM experiment because Rebecca suggested it to me. She's a nurse? She told me that they were searching for a nurse willing to participate. Well, to be honest, there is another reason why I decided to join. She's a nurse, you guys. That could lead credence that she is like Luna. So, hey, Rebecca, you got a, uh... Apparently, you got your name in the game as well. Gab! Why is Gab here? Okay, I they got the note, too. The See anything? No, it's too dark. You're up, Fi. You want me to go in there? It's clearly impossible. You sure? I won't repeat myself. Um, my boobs are D's. Your pants are on fire. It's true. <laughs> it seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. Growing is natural. You were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? <laughs> what is this? Is that a coaster? I really like Sigmund Pi's banter. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. And someone else wrote Q team, got it. I get it. By spreading out the votes, they're suggesting we make it a tie. Looks like Q team agreed. Seems so. I guess Gab passed through Ward C to Ward Q and ended up here. It'll work! Now, none of the teams will have to die. Hmm, I wonder about that. What? Yeah, I wonder too. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Damn, we don't have much time. We need to head over to the voting device. You know what Sigma wanted? Sigma just wanted to see her, you know, try to call through. <laughs> we all know what Sigma what exactly wanted. did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Do you mean that Q team is planning to betray us? No, I doubt it. That's what they intended. They didn't have to send Gab. They'd only have to decide to vote for D team. Then you mean... There's a chance that C team will betray us. Maybe they're saying they'll vote for D team, but actually vote for Q team. But why would they do that? to make us choose Q team. If you think it's a good idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm just saying. It's a possibility. The deadline to vote is in one minute. Oh, great. W what should I do? The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q team's voting for C team. So we have no choice but to choose Q-Team. Otherwise... Our single vote could cause the death of all of C-Team. So it doesn't seem to be a, uh, a disagreement here. Everyone seems to be on the same page. And the page we should be on is D-Team should vote for Q-Team. Um, so in this room, you know, Sigma and Phi are you know, tight. They're they're in agreement. And yeah, in the other two rooms, there was some banter back and forth. We're going to stay true to ourselves, though. We're going to vote the Q team.
Your vote has been accepted. Well, that was a good choice. Do you think it'll be okay? So long as Gab's note was the truth. All we could do was trust them. I suppose. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the free of you. So he said that about when everyone. Next week, those who survived will be able to regret the decision they made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> So I think the important thing is, when we go to our character select screen here, do we see new things for each group? Because if we don't see new things for each group, then we know someone probably died, right? Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. What the? I don't even know where to begin. What is going on here? I mean, I'm instantly looking at the giant chainsaw here, um, but what in the world? But seriously, how are we supposed to know what to do? I mean, there's so many choices and I, I'm gonna have to get creative here to figure out where to go next. And actually, I think I do have an idea. Um, yeah, I, I think I may have an idea and I'll let you guys know in my crazy idea later. Uh, but. For now, I am the flatless bird, or I should say the flabbergasted bird, because this is the most insane flow chart I've ever seen. Because I have no idea where the dots are connected here. I was talking about the dots earlier, well, where do the dots go? I mean, from this choice, where does these choices go? This is... This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Ah. <sighs> well, we're in for one heck of a journey, aren't we? I love you guys so much. Thank you for all that you do. So long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.